In this video, we are going to focus on area of similar figures. You will find this on page 353 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Areas of similar figures. From the previous section, we know that when two plane figures are similar, their corresponding sides are proportional. That means if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then each pair of the corresponding sides has a ratio K. So as soon as I write the sides, the corresponding sides, and I do that division, that ratio will always be just K if I just find the side. So let's look at the following table to understand the relationship between the ratio of the areas of two similar figures and K. So in this case, if you look at the sides, it's simplified to 1 to 2. Okay, but if the area, it's half base times height, if you substitute, you will get, and you simplify that ratio, you get 1 to 4. So if you check there, if I take the side, that ratio, and I square it, I will get that 1 to 4. The same here. If I, 12 to um, 18, if I simplify, it's 2 to 3. Um, the area, it's 12 squared, 18 squared. And if I simplify, I get 4 to 9. But if I do that, if I say 2 squared, 3 squared, I also get 4 to 9. Okay, and the same, the last one, the rectangle. Uh, the sides, it's 3 to 4, that one, 3 to 4. Uh, area, so area of a rectangle, length times breadth, length times breadth. And if I simplify that ratio, I get 9 to 16. So that will give me an answer. If I square that one, square that one, I'll also get 9 to 16. So from the table, we can conclude the following. For two similar prime figures, if the ratio of their corresponding sides is x to y, then the ratio of their areas is x squared to y squared. Okay, so basically I will just take the ratio and I square it and that is just what I say. So I will take a side and a side and I square it and then I will get the ratio of the area. Okay, let's look at an example. So in the diagram this two is a parallel uh, and then they give you the different dimensions and then the ratio of A y to ac so just um, as soon as i know that that two is parallel then this triangle will be similar to this triangle okay so if i find that ratio then this will be okay this is six and if i write it it's four to ten four to two the whole one ten and that will be two to five so that's the size the ratio of the areas so I can just take that side and I just square it and I get 4 to 25. And then the area of triangle um, A, X, Y, A, X, Y. So the tree area of this triangle will be this, my ratio, I already squared it. I fill in the one I have, that is the one. I still cross multiply and I get my answer. The same area of uh, B, C, Y, X. So the area of, let's just show you, B, C, Y, X, it's that area, okay. So I just take the full area, okay, 37.5, and I subtract the 6, that's 6, I, X, that's 6, and then I will be left with that one, okay. And that's my final answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do trinal 6 number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. In the diagram, PQ is parallel to BC. Okay. IB is 18. IB is 18. PB is 6. Okay. The area of triangle APQ, APQ is 84. Okay. Uh, find the ratio of AP, AP to AB. Okay, so let's just write that down. We can start here. So it's A, P, 2, A, B. So A, P, A, P is 12, 2, 
AB, it's that 18, if you add that 12 and 6. And if you simplify that, divide 6, divide 6, you get 2, 2, 3. Okay. Then number B. The ratio of the areas of triangle APQ, APQ, and ABC. Okay. So remember, it's the same as the side. So what I can just do, I can just take that side and I square, and I take that side and I square, and I will get, my answer will be 4 to 9. Okay. Then the area of triangle ABC, A, B, C. So let's just start with the statement. Okay, let's just take another color, number C. So we can say the area of triangle APQ is in the ratio of the area of triangle ABC. Okay, and that is 4 to 9. So, and then I, if I write it as, as I say, okay, let's just say area, triangle A, P, Q, over, area, triangle A, B, C. Remember, what was that? 4 to 9. Okay, so then I'm just going to substitute, this is 84, this is area of triangle ABC, okay, so the area of triangle ABC, if I cross multiply, it will be 4 multiply area triangle A. B, C, and that will be 9 times 84. Then I divide 4, I divide 4, and I just move it up a little bit. So, so with the area, therefore, area, And that will be 189. 9 centimeter square. Okay. Okay, and then there's again, this is number D, it's almost like the previous one. So D, uh, BCQP, BCQP, so that is just the area. Uh, B. C, Q, P, and that will be that 189 minus 84, and that will be 105 centimeters square. And that will be my final answer.